What's up, future millionaires? It's your boy, MTI, and we've seen a lot of FUD surrounding Binance here lately. I even did a video on them last week talking about the potential trouble that, you know, the powers that be could use to kind of shake up the market with this news. But what we're going to be talking about today is Binance US is going to be acquiring Voyager, the brokerage. And as we know, FTX fell through with all of that with the insolvency and all of that SBF craziness that's going on. And we're still waiting to hear a lot of answers on what's actually going on with all of that but that's another video but today i want to focus on what we actually know so far about binance us acquiring voyager now a lot of alleged sources are saying binance us is acquiring voyager for 1 billion well actually that is not the case so we're going to actually dive into the details and kind of figure out what's going on and when we can kind of expect to maybe hear some news on this so let's check it out so real quick looking at this tweet by binance.us with the agreement binance us priority is to unlock and return voyager customer funds in the form of the cryptocurrencies they previously held as soon as possible and you can see cz here says binance.us wins bid to acquire voyager assets now before we go into more of the detail one thing that a lot of people has been mentioning for people that actually hold the vgx token on the Voyager platform like myself, a lot of people are saying what's gonna actually happen with that. And it actually saw quite a bit of a rally when this news was released. So a lot of people are wondering, Binance doesn't have Beach yet. So what would they do? A lot of people have said, hey, I would take BNB for it. And me, I'm kind of on that same boat as well. At this point, I would take BNB for my BGX as well. Let me know what you would do down in the comment section, but let's keep moving. So as we look at the next piece of news here, real quick, I wanna talk about Binance.us closed this 200 million seed round at 4.5 billion evaluation in April of this year and remains well capitalized so that all of their assets exceed liabilities, maintaining a one-to-one -one reserve. And I showed this to say, Binance is putting this out here to let customers know and investors like me and you that, hey, we have the money to actually buy Voyager. No funny business is going on. So let's go ahead and go dive into what we actually know, because a lot of people said they're buying it for a billion. But as I mentioned earlier, that's not the case. So check this out. The Binance US bid, which sets a clear path forward for Voyager customers to be unlocked as soon as possible. And it is valued approximately up $1.022 billion and is comprised of a fair market value of Voyager's cryptocurrency portfolio at a to be determined date in the future. And so you can see right here, Binance is not acquiring Voyager for 1 billion. That is what their assets is worth. If you look right here, there's going to be a consideration equal to 20 million of incremental value. And that's what Binance is actually going to be sending over to Voyager, according to this news here. So if you look right here, Binance.us will make a 10 million good faith deposit and will reimburse Voyager for certain expenses up to a maximum of 15 million. Should the deal not close by April 18, 2023, subject to a one month extension, the agreement allows Voyager to immediately move to return value to the customers. Now, if we look over here on Forbes, right, you see right here, the Binance US bid, which was selected by Voyager, is only going to see about 20 million transferred to the bankruptcy estate. And if you look right here, a better way to look at this deal is by thinking about the 20 million to be sent from Binance US as a purchase price for the right to acquire 3.5 million of Voyager customer accounts. Once those funds are transferred and then dispersed to the clients, which will not happen until the bankruptcy court date, decides the prorated share that each account will receive. So in other words, it will be up to Binance.us to try to keep the customers and their assets on the platform. But we know most people aren't trusting any exchanges anymore, but we know Binance is still the largest exchange in the world as we speak. And so my question is, what's going to happen with the bgx tokens will binance allow us to convert that into bnb or will they do the converting for us right that's going to be a big question now for me as i said at the beginning i would definitely take bnb for my bgx i have quite a bit invested in it as well as you guys know from previous videos and so with all that being said 
I do think this is a win for, you know, investors who use Voyager like myself, because I do think this deal will go through. Um, however, there is a lot of stuff that's going on. We do know the day is around January 5th, and then we are expected to hopefully have this settled by April of next year or maybe a month after if they need an extension. So essentially, we have about maybe four months, hopefully, to maybe start to get some of those funds back or hopefully start moving in the right direction to let let us know what's going to happen in the next few months once it's actually been settled so what are your thoughts on all of this are you excited that binance us is buying voyager do you want to get bnb for your bgx let me know down in the comment section and i will catch you guys